Hello, welcome to Rome Total War. This is my strategy and tactics, part 12. Hey, sexy battles. Jim here. Okay, one of the things I found with cities that constantly show blue and yellow and even red, it's a weird little trick here. See that? And you go back to the city and it's green. Take a look. And then back. And they're green. Rather than building a thousand militia units or trying to, to appease these people in other ways, they just go crazy. This little trick seems to work pretty good. Doesn't always work. Like right here, but it does work. So sometimes you can um, calm people down in, in cities that are getting kind of out of control by simply using that um, little maneuver right there. Okay, back to the war here. Most of this is just going to be maneuvering my troops around. And um, we're going to approach Italy with my fleet here, which I've refurbished, repaired, and I have a great big monstrous um, army on board, all cavalry, which I intend to land right over here. Okay, now we have a large army on the boot of Italy, and a very large supporting fleet. And we're going to take a look here. What I'm going to do is scout this place out. I think I'll probably try to capture this town here. Not sure yet. You guys can uh, give me some input. What do you think? And take a look at the military situation here. I could use some advice. Really would appreciate it. A lot of you guys are much, much better at this, uh, at this than I am. At any rate, back to what I'm up to here. Okay, um, down here, uh, I found this Roman town wasn't too heavily guarded, so I decided to attack it. You might think I'm a little bit nuts because this is just a reconnaissance force. I did purchase an infantry unit um, for this assault here because I looked and see any Romans. And then suddenly, of course, a gigantic Roman army appears to relieve the place. And um, this does seem a little crazy because they're going to come down here and they are going to kick me out. Um, that would seem so. So we're going to uh, go ahead. We have preceded the army with a politician. Diplomat. Now we're going to take a look over here. If there's no commander, just a captain, we're going to try to buy this army off. And look at that. If you're going to do it, and hit the X, and look at that, they're gone. Hooray! No more Roman army come to relieve that besieged town. Those guys are in trouble now, eh? What do we have here? Another little Roman army. Doesn't matter what they are, I'm going to purchase them too if possible. And get them off the battlefield. Okay, let's see if it works. And it uh, does work. And now they're gone. Okay, that's beautiful. Two Roman armies are gone. These guys are now hanging out down here by themselves. Take a look at the um, <coughs> excuse me situation here. Monetary wise, everything looks okay. And we'll take a look at the uh, faction ratings over here. And now we're going to hit the end of turn. There was a lot of stuff moving around real slowly, which took over a minute, so I figured I might as well uh, fast forward for you here. <coughs> okay, the Thracians have declared war. I wonder why they did that. I'll fix them for that. Anyway, here's our build, recruitment report, what we're repairing, if anybody, and recruiting. And the construction report here, you can see that um, crop rotation, I'm really into improving the city, making it uh, more efficient. Okay, and here we are. I've seen a turn report. Doesn't look so good, but we're going to take a look at the next one. Financial report, that looks very good, 20,000 plus. Okay. Now we're going to go down here and take another look at the battlefield. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what do you think? Should I invade this town over here? Or should I continue north toward Rome? Thanks for watching. Jim here. You guys have a good day and a good week. I'd appreciate some comments and some advice. I could really use it. Um, I'll also start mentioning some of my friends here in the credits. We'll see all you guys later. And you know who you are. Great guys. I'll take it easy. We'll see you.